step out early, this was short I guess Make you sign a waiver, you may surely crash I am on my way, baby I'm on my way yeah, I'm cleaner than a bitch Yeah, I'm colder than a six Won't suck on my ex's dick But I might just take a sip Uber, Uber, wait How you guys doing? This is Michael Seuss and S. Prince of Heels On behalf of Bars and Joysticks With one of our winners from the Pass the Mic March Edition I know the chat Y'all were super, super excited for this one Specifically, Summer J Yes, ma'am You gotta keep that in there Alright, how, how nervous are you feeling like 10? Um, Call me man. I think I'm like a 5. Honestly, I prepped the night before. I was like, you're not going to catch me on nothing crazy. Make sure my outfit was on point, you know what I'm saying? I had a little hair situation, but it's all good. I still look good. Like, you look good too. I like the hat. Uh, the hat is right. Yeah. Shouts out to my wall for Yo, again, uh, you are one of my personal favorites. I'll say that on camera. I don't care. You are from New York, from Yonkers. Yes, sir. So, Yonkers, New York, and Belgium. Absolutely. Now, what? Where are we at? Oh, all right, all right. So, that's one of the first questions that I wanted to lead into. How was it adjusting musically to Tampa? Because, and this is the reason why I'm asking you this, the way you come up, I kind of get, it, it's not, it, like, it's, it's still very, very East Coast. But the way you modernize, it's not forced. So, I've seen you perform now twice. I love to set both times you performed with the songs in both of these sets. And you were able to command the crowd with having that East Coast swag and East Coast energy. So, how have you been able to find that pocket that you found? I feel like when I first came to Tampa, it was hard, kind of like, it wasn't, not gonna say hard all the way, but it was definitely a challenge finding like a sound down here working with different and different artists. Um, I never heard of no southern nothing at all, you know, like it's all East Coast, up north, everything. And a little bit of like Calypso and Soka. So like, it was definitely like a journey, a very positive one, I would say, finding myself. How I stay in the pocket, you said, on performing? Honestly, I kind of forget that the crowd is there. Like, it's not even a performance at this point. It's just me in my own little world, and I'm having fun producing and giving life to the song that I, I created. So that's that's what usually happens. I forget about everything that's going around me and I have fun with the, with the sound that I created. Sure. True, true, true. Lyrically, I've heard uh, a wide array from you. There's a very prevalent theme of female empowerment. Too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, it, there have been, I think, maybe two songs that I've heard from you. And if you can kind of tell me the title of one, maybe, you know, shout it out as well, that'd be dope. But there have been a couple of songs that was almost, you know, borderline strip music. Like when you were talking about, yeah, I'm gonna go to a club, you know, I'm gonna do this and do that, but you know what I'm saying? And, and, and Mickey, you know what I'm saying? Flood in the club and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get up on that. So something, it was something like that. It was something like I'll that. I'll say this, I'm definitely pro women. Um, so girls rule, boys rule. Um, I still love men though, they're amazing, we need them here, you know what I'm saying? Who's gonna take the garbage out? But um, I just feel that sometimes women don't get enough like main characters in a song or like a video besides like just regular, yeah, she got a body and that's it. But like, I just, I wanna make all of my drug dealers in my, in my songs females. I wanna make all my doctors in my songs females. If Tampa Mel is there and he looks good, that'll work too, but definitely pro women for sure. Okay, cool. And that's what I'm saying, right? Like, it's not like, it's not forced. Like sometimes I feel like there's a lot of, and, and there's no disrespect to any other side. But I feel like there's a lot of um, female MCs and female rappers that are kind of using it as a way to get on. And as soon as they get on, they're not really trying to do anything with women anymore. They're not trying to really, uh, they're not really trying to bring big up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Other female artists. Yeah, that's why I come easy because like it's just that's just who I am. Like if I'm all supportive of women. I feel like sometimes our stories don't get told the whole way. So any chance I get to highlight how dope we are, I'm going to do it. So it just comes off natural because I'm a woman and I know how dope I am. So it's easy. It's easy to, to even think of a fake woman character and make her as bad as possible, as dope as possible. It's easy. Absolutely respect. And um, one more question on this. On this, on this is this very interesting for me to hear this, especially from my angle that I see. What would you say men can do to improve? And because uh, I was speaking about this, about the whole rock controversy and the double standard of hip hop, because we men, we can talk about whatever we want. 
But when a woman, you know what I'm saying, wants to, you know, talk about sexuality and shit like that. And look, I'm not a male or feminist, none of that stuff, trust me. Very much the opposite, but I call it space pay for sure. So, you know, but we have a habit of getting on y'all, I mean, when y'all want to do the exact same stuff. Yeah. So, what do you think might be a solution, you know, or a middle ground that we can find? Honestly, it's, it's really being real with you with your other men. Like, don't, if a, if a dude is talking crazy and just saying some misogynistic stuff, like, be your friend. Like, yo, that sounds like a double standard and it doesn't sound right. So, there's nothing I can do. Me as a woman, all I can do is what I know to be true to myself and, like, communicating with people that understand my language. But, like, when I'm talking to a man, like, there's certain things that I'm not going to get and he's not going to get. But I feel that if you guys are having that, you know, honest conversation in your communities, like with your homeboys, with your family members, with the younger ones, it's, it, 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 won't, it won't matter no more. Like, just like you're saying, there's double standards. Like, and being a feminist does not mean you hate men. Honestly, a man could be a feminist. You don't have to say, like, I'm a male feminist. You're just a feminist in, in general because the feminist just wants to have equal rights for every gender. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can be married to a man. I can be married to plenty of men and still be a feminist. You know what I mean? So it's all about equal rights. Yes, I think that double standards. I mean, it makes no sense. But when you think about it, like even in all like men's songs, if you if they didn't talk about women at all, I don't know how many of your favorite rappers you will listen to. That's just me though. Just just be real with it. Stop tell tell your homeboys what's up. True, true, true. Let's get into a little bit more on the music business. Yeah, so, okay. What would you say your influences are as far as rappers, as far as East Coast? That's my favorite question. So of course, Lil Kim, uh, Azealia Banks. Um, DMX, Nas. Uh, oh, you said let's go. There we go. There we go. Go, go, um, go. Yeah. Like, I've, I've been into West Side Gun lately. Like he, he's dope. I like that. Um, a me, A M I N E. I forgot. I don't know if that's his name that well, but Caroline. Okay, okay. I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's dope. And who else can I put out there? Probably just myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of my biggest fans as well. I'll be saying some crazy shit sometimes. Yo, I absolutely fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, I don't think I've ever gotten that response from an artist before. So that's cool, you guys saying? First time for everything. So, with that being said, the East Coast in general has had a has kind of has kind of a paradigm shift, obviously, within the last I don't, I don't wanna say like it's been over a decade. Let's say two decades. Let's just be cool. Two thousand. Two thousand. Uh, so, how do you respond? Because you, they were all East Coast names. And it wasn't, it wasn't a lot of the sound bending, genre bending stuff. So, how do you feel about New York and just the East Coast in general sound shit? Not just with the younger generation, because there's a lot of work that's been into. So, do you feel like that's discouraging to your art? Like you came over here and you modernized your sound. So it's like. Does that kind of affect it? Like maybe I'm not like, here for some sort of skill. I don't think so. I, I feel like music is, is like a river, right? And the river is constantly flowing. So like I feel like where it lies is more so like where, where the competition is. Like what city or what part of the United States is going to like really stick their teeth and their hands into the game next? Like I think the South definitely did that for sure. And it's just up to the you know, other regions to like put their sound on. You can't knock it. And I'm with it. Honestly, I haven't been in New York, like the New York music scene heavy because I've been down here, but um, from what I've heard, I'm not disappointed. You know what I mean? Of course, I have my favorites and I have things that I don't really like so much, but I'm not disappointed at all. I think people are definitely going to put more right now from New York or East Coast in general. Absolutely. I just said, uh, clarify. I loved your answer. That's the question. Yeah, yeah, you okay. did. No, it wasn't <laughs> that. I just, I didn't want it to come off like. It was a dislike thing, it was just a, a change I wanted to know what you thought about because I always ask people for me, you know, how do they feel about the change in the sound and stuff like that. I like it. Alright, so uh, let's talk about something that let's talk about something that you also have your own clothing brand down here, uh, Jack of all trades, let's say. Summer night is just that's just a baby, like it's more it's more than just like a brand, honestly, it's like it's, like, it's a lifestyle. You can think of your perfect summer night. It's, it's always gonna be magical, you know what I'm saying? My favorite summer is summer 07. That's my favorite summer of all time so far. So far. Summer you 07. That I've experienced summer 2007 was the littiest I've ever experienced. Yeah, summer night, that's it's just it's a whole vibe. Like, we, we just we like to bring things to life. You know, you, you're selling this shirt. How can I make this shirt look better? What, what can I do? 
that's where we come in. We add all the, add the nice hat, we add the background, we add the props, we add the music, you know what I'm saying? We add the angles, that's what something like that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I gotta say, that was interesting because the way you lit up, you know, when you were answering that, yeah, when you were answering that question, I don't know how to explain it per se, but it was definitely a different, a whole different vibe from when you were answering the music question. So, and I'm just gonna ask this flat out the answer she was. Do you see yourself as you get older and as you grow and just this whole experience of media, music, art, all of that, do you see yourself maybe putting music on the back burner to expand your brand and, your, and, and you know, continue to make, you know, some of like the biggest thing possible? Would you ever like, you know, be like, yo, I love rap, you know, I might do, you know, a mixtape or an album every three, two years, but you know what I'm gonna do? Summer night, you know, do fashion and shows in Milan and uh, you know all this, you know, all that stuff, you know, Paris, all that stuff. We do that 24/7. Yeah, so you know, I think the good, the good thing about me is that music is always around. Like even right now, I'm thinking of a bar I want to play. You know what I mean? So as far as the fashion goes, like if I'm going to Milan for a show, you can guarantee I'm also performing one of my songs at later on that night. You know what I mean? It goes hand in hand. Um, summer night. That's like that's another visual. So the ideas that I have in my head and placing that outfit on somebody or whatever it is, like that's the visual of you know, what you know what's in my head. So that's a, that's a good thing. And with the music, the visual side of that is like creating music videos, creating like the, the covers, you make performance, like that's visual as well. So summer night is something you would definitely go hand Because even when I'm performing, my fit, that summer night is fire. When I when I do a fashion show. There's music playing, that's gonna be some of you wanna hand me too because it goes hand in hand all the time. So you also do you also work as a stylist with people like were you a yeah. uh, stylist five? Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, okay. So a couple of friends, um name drop right now. Why not? Why not? You wanna interview, you interview. Like give us a scoop, give us a scoop. Um, yeah, I'm working a couple of brands. The first one I worked with was, was Jazzy Dolls. They just launched their own clothing brand as well. Check them out, they're on IG. I worked with a couple of, I call them models, but y'all know them as IG baddies. Just helping like, you know, put some content on their page. I do have a couple of shoots later on in this month that I'm looking forward to. So you'll see that soon. Follow the page, Summer Night. Uh, we, we got, we got a little, we weren't there. We got a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you something. Stop. Yeah, ask you something. Because this is, I know if I don't ask you this, we gonna get uns unsubscribed. You had a lot of male attention on that chat. I know, I know you know where I'm. And female. I want you to say that male and female. Oh, F? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, okay. How often is that a part of your experience getting like hit on in, like that chat? I mean, I was kind of going at them. There's a couple of other persons. Stuff. That was no, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you why. Because they, because that's not. I feel like personally, they knew better. That's not the right way you approach somebody. And it's like, come on, like it's like, come on. Like y'all, a lot of them are a lot older than that and stuff like that. So it's like, I would be. I felt like it was kind of about the music and the fact that they weren't talking about how dope your set was. And they, they were definitely talking about she was raw on the mic and who is the oh, shit. Okay. It wasn't just yeah. off okay. looks. It was not off looks. Well, then you know what? It was not off looks. Yeah. It was. Right, yeah. cool, cool, cool. This is the first interview he's been talking to okay. uh, as far as uh, behind the camera. So, bro, that's why behind the panel is behind everywhere. You understand? Know that didn't really work that well, but fuck. Anyway, how do you deal with male and female attention being an artist? Because I'm sure that wasn't the first time that that happened. No, I mean, I feel like that happens in a day to day, you know? Like, that's just the power that women possess. You know, what, what can I say? Like, with great power comes great responsibility. So, like, just knowing what to ignore, knowing what to respond to, knowing, you know, when the price is right. Just little things like that. That's just. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned that before. You were like, oh, you know, six have money. And then you just said the price is right. So, is it like. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so it comes at like a price point. Like they gotta be ready, like you know what I'm saying? Like, they treat you like a woman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you should be ready to do that in front of the person. My thing is, 
I don't need nothing from you because I have my own bed. You know, I'm gonna be a broke. That's that's just the bottom line. So if I wanna, yo, let's hop on a flight and go to Colorado or anything. I go waffles. I don't need you saying, well, damn, I don't have nothing saved up to go and I pay you back. It's not gonna happen. Who wants that? You don't want that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might want that. Yeah, so that's that's all it is. So if, if so for the chat for the subscribers, I did you the favor. If you try to actually holler in the DMs, you won't need it back. Yeah, bring it back. Might as well. All right, true, 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 true. All right, Summer J. Summer Jules, call me up. Okay, so, okay, so we 100% that name. I just want to make it. Summer J, yeah, okay. J stands for Jules. Summer Jewel. All right, cool. What, talk, talk to us about, talk to us about, all right. What do you have coming out next, like next, next? So honestly, like last time when I was on camera, you know, I mentioned I was doing features before, and that's what I'm trying to do. Honestly, I'm trying to like work a lot in April. So when May comes, June comes, you know, I got content to push, and then by July you can see me pop up that show. So that's definitely the goal. Um, I got one feature down already. Um, Navy Hash, so that's very exciting. Um, I also got a couple of features in, in the whole space. Now it hasn't been given a green light yet. We're still working. I'm looking forward to that. My single called Katina, that's um, coming up to iTunes and all streaming platforms as well. Yeah, I feel like I'm a little, sometimes I'm a little like... Doing a lot. Not, not even doing a lot, I just be like, man, what should I give them first? You know, that's that's sometimes like my biggest thing, what to give them first. Like, what can they handle first? Like, I don't even like, like, you need to practice. Oh, no, 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 no. That's usually my biggest problem, what, what to give them first. So called Katina, I mean, that's my whole single project. And then the features come to some video. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask you, so I don't even gotta ask you that so much. You'll see I'm right there. Where can people find you? Follow me on IG right now. Put it on the YouTube page. But the black girl with the rat tail, that's like my spam page I've been talking about the show right now. Elder Summer Group, that's where the dates are dropping, that's where the video releases are around, that's the official But the black girl with the rat tail is always fun to do. Alright y'all, this is Michael Soups, MS with Summer Jewel, Bars and Joysticks, Behind the Panel. Definitely check out everything that she got coming out. Y'all already know it's dope. Be sure to also check the video coming out. Also, shout out to Nick Cash as well. He was also one of our winners. Definitely a real cat man. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna catch y'all later. Is there anything else? I do wanna say this guy right here has definitely been like a big supporter and a big fan and definitely like an opportunity in general. Like, so I never knew him before I performed at that first show and since then we've been working. That's the kind of people you need around you. That's the kind of, that's the kind of circle you need. So you're networking, work with people that's working. Thank you. Absolutely too. You, you inspire me as well, so I appreciate it. Like I said, it's genuine too. It's, I can guarantee, guarantee If I was trash, I wouldn't be here. He wouldn't let me on this camera. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be hitting you at all. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. But yeah, so. Alright, man, I'm gonna catch y'all. Definitely check out her stuff. All of the links that she sends us are going to be in the description. So hit that notification bell, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment too. And be tell us, tell Summer what you think of our music. Alright, peace.